Neil has just made breakfast. Um, I've got one piece of toast frozen in half with some bacon. I've got the rest up there. I've got tea and then I've also got my cranberry juice. Okay, so I'm ready for the day. I'm having a no makeup day clearly apart from wax and um, eyelashes. I've just literally put on a coat of mascara. It is 10 to nine and I've got my hoodie on and my comfy jeans I wore yesterday. I'm now about to put a plaster on my finger. Can you see that my skin has all like rucked up on my finger? It's so sore. I've never really had it that bad before. I don't really know what's caused it or why it's like it. But if you've got any suggestions as to how to heal it, let me know. Because I'm now going to put a plaster on it. And I don't think that's the best way to do it. Um, but I'm not too sure. It just really hurts because I keep catching it like in my hair and sorting pee out. And just on clothing. You found your hat. I need to put my socks and my shoes on. Then we're going to head out to the car boot. I'm not too sure what our other plans are for the rest of the day. Because it's only 10 to 9. Really missed. Piss off! That was exactly what I was gonna say. That I don't know if you're gonna be able to see how foggy it is. But it's pretty bad. Made it to the car boot. I don't know how I feel about it. I like to um hide behind my shades and I'm unable to do that today because of the weather. My daddy. You got your hands in your pocket? Daddy's got his in his pocket too, look. <laughs> be the same. And now this is what we're going to deal with. It's not actually that big. Normally it comes right up to here, but it's still early in the year. We have just come to Waterloo Park. No, Wensum Park. Um, it's sort of near Home Bargains and we want to go and just get a few little homey bits. Because it's so early we've got to wait for it to open, which is why I hate Sunday hours. So we're just killing some time at the park, might go down and see the swans and the birds in a bit. Um, and then go over to Home Bargains, the cubby was crap, there was nothing there. People were just selling junk. Did you have a good time? I'm just glad I got good. my mug. Um, just spent 19 pounds in home bargains. Bye. Show you what I got when we get home. Yeah, holy <laughs> this is where we went. I got some good stuff. Didn't need, really need that tablecloth. I spent five quid on stuff I didn't need. Surprise. What do you want? Surprise. You want a surprise? Yeah. Shut your eyes then. Ready? Yeah. Open. <gasps> it's a bouncy egg. Is that good? <gasps> you want some food? Uh. You've already had some. No, that's not food. <laughs> we have just got home from Home Bargains <laughs> and I thought I would show you everything that I just got. So the majority of the stuff is food like it always is from Home Bargains. So I got some caramel... I got some caramel flavoured rice cakes for P and for the boys and I'll just quickly point out if I've got new viewers. I do the school run for the for my nephews twice a week but for the next couple of weeks I'm doing it for three times a week. So I've just gone to go and get them some snacks and stuff. Um, I also got two cartons of tropical juice because I really like drinking juice at the moment in the morning. Now I know this isn't really the healthiest stuff so it's actually quite bad for you but I just like drinking it so I've got Two of these, they were 39p each, which is like why I got two. And I also got cranberry, which is obviously a lot healthier for you. And I love cranberry juice. And again, these were 39p each, so I got those. Then I got some colour absorber sheet things because I was getting low. Um, I always cut these in half as well, so it says you've got 20, but I've actually got 40 because you don't need to use the whole thing. I got Golden Wonder Smoky Bacon Crisps for the boys. I have already opened them because I had a packet in the car. Um, I also got them some um, strawberry, did she smell? <laughs> she smelled like a sewer. You do a shit for a living, it should be fine for you. Um, I got the boys some strawberry Barney Bear um, cake bars because they like these even though they're a lot older but it's fine. I got myself and Pea some Ritz crackers because I love these for lunches or for snacks with hummus. 
Uh, what else did I get? I got these for the boys as well because they love these. These were only 39p each and these will do them like a couple of times coming over. Like I put them in bowls for them. And they're the fish and chips, salt and vinegar and the pickled onion variety. I don't like these at all. I think they're really weird. Um, but yeah, so I picked those up because they're just good little snacks to have in the cupboard for them. What else did I get? I also stocked up on my coca noodles because I love these and I was getting low. I only got one packet left. So I've got two stir fry, which are my favourite. Um, I then got two of the curry. Why did you pass the nappy to me? Oh, that's, that's bad. That smells like yours. It smells like she had your poo. Oh, that stinks. Um, and then I also got a packet of chicken. They're only 25p each, so that's why I've stocked up. Probably a little bit excessive, but I don't really care. Got myself a random lion bar for 29p, because, you know, why not? Oh, other thing for the boys. I got them some of these as their little sweet treat. Caramel millionaire slices, because they say they're like millionaire shortbread, so I got those. And they were only 49p. 49. 49p. Along with this, which is for P when we do painting as opposed to using a bowl. This is just a lot safer. I might have also brought myself one of these. I'm obsessed with these. I've got it in the pink, I've got it in the yellow. Um, and then I also had two Primark bottles, but one of my Primark ones smashed. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling only having three. I tend to have two a day. Yes, it's a surprise. No, you can't have those. No, your surprise is on the floor. Where's your egg? Go find it. Um, so yeah, I was struggling only having three first all problems, I know, but I just wanted to get them. And when they sell out, they sell out really fast. So when I saw them, I wanted to get them. This is for P for Christmas, which might seem a little bit excessive, but they were 39p each. And they are um, Disney Pixar things. And they're little surprise bags, but you can actually see. There's a little fish here. So you can actually see which ones you've got. And this is the selection. No, these are for Christmas. These, these aren't sweets. Um, so this, this is the ones that you can get. So you've got a couple of crabs and then a couple of fish. And I picked out Dory, the little um, octopus man, and then the little clam with the pearl. So she's got those three. So 39p each for little presents for her Christmas stocking, I thought, were just fab. So I'm going to pop those away. And then I got myself some almonds because they i think they're expensive in there anyway they're 179 but that's actually cheap for the size of the bag and you know trying to get on the health kick and just snack healthily so i've got those i got a um phone ring that i've been wanting for a really long time i've been saying that my fingers hurt my finger my baby fingers don't go straight and i've got a really bad iphone finger like you can feel that my bone is indented from holding my phone so i wanted to get a ring for my phone um, this is in rose gold they had it in silver gold like dark gray um, and then obviously this that obviously corresponds with the iPhone colors so I'm gonna put it on my iPhone in a little while but I'm actually gonna put it on a case so I don't ruin the back of my phone um, so that's what that looks like that was 179 can't remember if I said uh, yeah and then finally here she comes you waving and then finally I picked up a PVC white clean tablecloth which is something that I would never normally do or buy this is one no this is 2 dollars so again pricey for me but I really hate my table at the moment I've said I wanted to get a new one but I just can't afford to buy a new one. Oh, you want to show this do you okay careful this is Neil's mug you've wanted a glass mug for such a long time so, wait, did you see it on Instagram or somewhere? Used to have one at oh, Neil used to have a glass mug at his granddad's, so you've been wanting one for a while. He managed to find one for 99p. So, if you want glass mugs, go to Home Bargains. Are you going to have this now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited for you. I sort of want one, but it's not big enough. It's a small cup. It's, it's a cup. Made with, uh, it is, but this is a cup. This is nowhere near big enough. I basically have two of these at one time. You only like a small cup, though, don't you? Neil's only got a small bladder, so have I, the amount of times I go to the toilet. Um, so yeah, so anyway, this PVC wipe clean tablecloth, um, I thought it was going to be quite cheap and um, flimsy, but it's not. So I'm going to put it on the table. It's a little bearish, 
a little bit garish. It's not always the sort of style that I would want. Um, but I've just had enough of our table. I think it looks great. So, I'm now going to go tidy up all of this stuff. That's our little impromptu home bar tour. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are now going to have a cup of tea, chill out for a bit. It's starting to rain. So, hopefully the rain will stop. Neil can go outside, clean the car, and I'm going to clean the house. There we go. So, that's what the tablecloth looks like. I think it's all right. It absolutely stinks. It smells like bouncy castles. Um, but I think once the creases drop out for 2 dollars it's all right because obviously pea sits up at the table now as well it just makes it a lot easier um, and cleaner because that wood it's just really grimy and i hate the grooves because you can get salt in it and i mean i know i should probably clean it but let's just do that and then that's done this is neil's mug Are you happy Are you happy got the tea get your tea cheers yeah it's mad isn't it i like that what's mad about it it's just a cup it was glass. I wondered how you get that off. How do you do that? That makes me want to vomit. Neil's just taken off the um the car seat thing, look how stained that is. Um, food, raisins mainly, and a hair clip. What the hell is this? Oh, look, there's a little secret pocket, look. So this is the state that Jess has let the car get into, even though I cleaned it the other day. Awful. I've just made P's lunch. Neil's outside still cleaning the car with his friend. Um, so in the meantime I've done pee, some quavers, um, a jam sandwich, two party rings left over from her snack this morning, this again left over from her snack this morning, it's like a pressed fruit bar, um, strawberry flavour with some strawberries and some salami. Just popped to Tesco's because Neil suggested having Yorkshire's with sausages and mash for dinner. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, but we also got some bread, which was reduced from £1.5 to 26p. And then I also got some pan au chocolat that should have been £1.10, reduced to 28p. So I got myself some bags. And popped over and dropped over some toys for P. So she's been playing with all this stuff. We've also got this massive thing in the hallway which is gonna go in the shed because I have not got the room for this. And I don't think she's gonna play with it, but we've got that anyway. Um, and whilst I was at Tesco's, I also picked up some leggings because I saw that apparently Tesco's have the best leggings. Um, these are six pounds. So I'm gonna try them and see if they're any good. If they're not, I'm just gonna return them. Um, currently I just wear like gym leggings. And I just want some comfy things um, sort of round the house um, and like to wear like comfy hoodie days. I don't really wear leggings outside of the house um, but I just picked those up. Morning. Morning. It's definitely not morning. Can you say afternoon? Noon. Noon. <laughs> Noon. Um, so it's actually 20 to 5. Okay. Um, I haven't spoken to the camera for a little while. We went for a walk around the woods with um, Neil's brother and his Boy. nephews Boy. with the boys, that's right. So we did that um, and then we've come home, we had our inspection, it's not really an inspection at all, he just comes in, gets Boy. us to sign a contract Boy. and then goes. Um, and we're now doing dinner. Um, when we had our inspection, he said that our rent's gonna go up next time, which is fine. Um, it hasn't been it's gone up since we've been here. We've been here four years. So in October when it's due again, it's gonna go up by 10 quid. So we really can't grumble at that. I'm gonna stop rambling and cook dinner. Um, but it's just been a nice chilled weekend. Neil's actually on call next week, um, which is pants. I hate it when he's on call for the whole week. 
and the weekends because I don't get a break at all. It's horrible. But this time next week we'll be packed and ready to go on our holiday on Monday. So I've just sat down for dinner. I love my new tablecloth so much. Um, but yeah, that is dinner. And then P has got hers. And Neil is just taking his out of the oven. Rue, are you alright? Oh, hi Pusscat. You think you're getting some grub, but you're not. No. Did you have a nice little snooze? Huh? Did you have a nice snooze? It's hi everyone, so it's ten past eight and I have just been working on the edit. We've had a chilled evening, Neil's had a bath, he's played FIFA and I've just been working on my laptop doing laptop stuff. Um, I'm now about to stop doing what I'm doing, have a cup of tea and some of that cheesecake we got yesterday. We've also found a film on Netflix called The Foreigner, which has got Piers Brosnan and Jackie Chan in it and that looks good. I like that sort of style of film. Um, so I'm going to do that, so I'm going to sign off the video for today because just want to get it done and chill out and not have to worry about editing or anything like that um tomorrow i'm not too sure what i'm going to be up to i've got to pop into work to speak to my manager um before i officially start i've been doing like shadow shifts um so tomorrow he just wants me to pop in and just make sure i'm okay with everything i assume um so yeah that's all i've got on the cards i'll try and get out go for a walk with p i'm not too sure but I will see you all in the morning, bright and early, for our last week before we go away to Hamstanton. So, I'll see you all in the morning. Bye.